Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah. I am the owner and artist behind a business called Hannah Banana Creations. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I took some thrift store items and flipped them using some chippy milk paint finishes. First up is this set of solid wood shelves. I love the fact that they're solid wood, but I don't really love the orangey tone of the wood itself. So I'm using some Sweet Pickens milk paint in the color Truffle. The way milk paint works is that it comes in a powder form and then it comes in these little baggies here and then you just mix that with equal parts water and stir it up really really well let it set about 10 minutes to get everything set up and then you're ready to go measuring out equal parts of this mixture is super important because if you get too much water in it it'll be way too runny and it won't work for your project at all in fact it'll just kind of all run off so be sure to measure everything out correctly. You can always add more powder if you need it to get a little bit thicker or add more water if you need it to be a little bit more runnier. I always use a whisk to make sure everything is stirred up really, really well. You want your paint to kind of be the consistency of a milkshake. So once you get the consistency that you like, you just apply on your first coat. Now the first coat usually is a little bit streaky, don't freak out. That happens usually when you're painting shiner objects like this piece right here. The point is to just get the first coat on and let that dry. You can use a heat gun like I'm doing here to kind of get it to chip and crackle a little bit more. That technique really only works with milk paint since it's made to chip and crackle like an old school paint finish. As you can see here, I'm applying a second coat of paint and the coverage is much better than the first one, thankfully. And then to dry everything, I used my heat gun again to kind of force it to chip and crackle a little bit more. It does chip and crackle on its own, but when you use a heat gun, it forces it out just a little bit more. As you can see, it's starting to show up there in the corner. I did distress everything with a 220 grit sandpaper to get off all the loose chunks of flaking paint. Milk paint, like I said before, is supposed to chip and crackle and have this kind of look. So if you want more control over the chipping and crackling, you can add other additives to it, but I didn't do that here. To seal this piece, I am using a black oil wax, also from Sweet Pickens. Since this is an oil-based product, you do want to wear gloves when you are applying it. Also use a brush that is disposable because you probably won't be using it again. This stuff is very, very hard to get out of your brushes. Just follow the instructions on the back of the bottle, which is to pour it out in a separate container so you don't contaminate the rest of your oil wax that's unused. And then just apply it all over the piece and you let it soak in for about 20 minutes or so, and then you just wipe it all off. I chose to seal these pieces with a dark wax because that will really set down into all the nooks and crannies as well as all the cracks in the paint and it'll really add an age to patina to it and make it look really, really old and awesome. Once all the excess wax is wiped off, you do want to set this piece aside to cure up for about 24 hours or so. And here is the result of this thrift store flip. For the next thrift flip, I'm going to be taking this wood box with this really pretty intricate metal sides. I am using the same color of milk paint for all the thrift flips in this video. Once you mix up your milk paint, you really need to use it all in one sitting. It can sometimes keep in the fridge for maybe up to 24 hours, but once you add the extra bond to it, it tends to get kind of gelled up and unusable after a certain amount of time. And here is a close up of how that paint chips and crackles. It is such a fun and unique look to your projects. Milk paint does kind of have a mind of its own. It does chip and crackle wherever it kind of pleases to do so, but that's what also makes it a really fun product to use because you really never know how the, your project will react to the milk paint and where it will chip off. And again, as you can see here, I am sealing it up again with the black oil wax. 
I'm using my chip brush and just kind of pouncing it on the hard to reach areas because that's the easiest way to get it to apply. And then I just wipe it all off with a rag. The paint chipped off really, really well on this piece and with the oil wax set into all of the details of the chippiness, it just looked so cool with this aged look and it, I absolutely love it. This fun little storage box had these metal details on all four sides and I thought it would be really, really pretty to accent them with some gold wax. This is from Redesign with Prima and it is so smooth, you can just apply it with your finger. I love decorative waxes and I add them to a lot of my projects. They really make your projects stand out and give it the most perfect metallic sheen. I definitely think the milk paint worked really, really well with this piece. It crackled almost all over the entire thing and the gold accents just really set it off. For this last project, I'm taking this sad wooden frame and giving it a big update. I knew I wanted to use milk paint on the frame of this piece, the same color as I used on the other projects, but I wanted the wood to be a little bit darker first, so I did apply a stain all over that, and then after that completely dried, I applied a layer of milk paint over that and let that chip and crackle wherever it pleased. I was updating this wooden frame to a piece of fun wall art and after I cut out a flat piece of wood to fit in to the frame for the picture part, I took some vintage sheet music and just ripped it up into little pieces. I was going to do kind of a layered look on the background starting with the sheet music first. To apply this layer of sheet music, I'm using the matte decoupage gel from Redesign with Prima. I am a part of the Redesign with Prima Petites team and I do have an affiliate link down in the description below if you want to try any of the Prima products for yourself. I have a huge stash of vintage music paper and I love to use it for decoupage projects like this. I like to tear it up in small pieces and just kind of piece it all together as kind of a layered background. And then I just keep that going until I have everything covered. Now I am doing multiple layers on this piece and the next step was to do a stencil over the sheet music. I am doing this in a light color to kind of give it a more solid background for my image that I'm going to be putting over the top. That way the boldness of the notes on the sheet music wouldn't conflict so much with my image that I was going to be putting on later. And here is the big stencil reveal. I'm adding an image from a redesign with Prima transfer that I already had in my stash. This giant rose is from a transfer called Vintage Botanicals. It has lots of different flowers that you can use for your own pieces of wall art. Transfers are a great way to add some detailed imagery to your projects. These are very easy to use and very beginner friendly. And if you wanna try any transfers for yourself, Redesign with Prima has a wide variety, so be sure to check out the link in the description. To attach the wood panel onto the inside of my frame, I took my favorite adhesive, which is Gorilla Glue Construction Adhesive. It seriously works for anything you can imagine. Placed that all around the inner edge and then just placed my wood panel on the inside. This glue does take about 24 hours to completely cure up, so make sure you give it enough time to do so. And here's how this piece of wall art turned out. One thing I always see at the thrift stores is frames. So this is definitely something that you can make for yourself and customize to any decor style. And if you love thrift flips and upcycles like these, be sure to follow along for more fun ideas.